I began to play um, uh, with knives and forks on the kitchen table in Bunky, Louisiana. And then my mother kicked me out of there and brought me out to the backyard where I could make less noise. And the, the neighbor heard it, and she um, she heard me playing on these trash cans in the backyard. And so she said, your son sounds like he has some uh, talent, so why don't you get him a set of drums? So my dad did. He got me a little snare drum, in which I began to play and got better and that kind of thing. Now, how did you first you know, even learn to, to do the, the drumming on, on the tabletops? Is that something you were really in, attuned to from other sources? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess it was just by, you know, listening to the radio, because there wasn't much television. There, were, there was a, a bit of television back then, and like Liberace and things like that were on, but I guess it was listening to the radio, my dad bringing me to like parades and that kind of thing, hearing drummers and um, that kind of thing. And how did you get your professional start? Um, well, I, I, I started out as an amateur drummer, of course. Were you taking lessons? No, I never took lessons. But my dad invited me to our mem uh, the Kiwanis Club meetings and Lions Club meetings in Bunky, Louisiana, invited me to, to play when they heard that I could play pretty good drums. And so uh, I did that and went on to uh, uh, sort of audition for the Horace Heights show in Lafayette, Louisiana. He was, um, he had his show, the Horace Heights Swift Premium Hour. And I, I was a big hit in Lafayette, of course. I was a hometown boy. And my dad asked Mr. Hyde if I had any um, future in show business. And he said, no, I don't think so, Mr. Thibodeau. Um, we've already got a 12-year-old drummer, so we don't need a, a three-year-old drummer. Um, but two weeks later, he called my dad and, and asked us to join uh, the show as regulars. Uh, myself, my dad had to leave his job at United Gas Company and and take over uh, watching over me. Of course, his nickname was Hollywood, so he, he enjoyed that kind of uh, kind of stuff. I remember the nice looking dancers on the show and all the, all the nice ladies that sort of took me in and 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 uh, cooed and coddled me. And uh, I remember um, flying on planes and and with them and with the show and rehearsing with the band and. Um, traveling from city to city when we travel all over the United States, um, Canada, doing one-night stands with them at the age of, you know, three and a half, four years old.